Hello and welcome everyone to another episode of Faye Fitness. Today we are going to continue our kickboxing basic series and we are going to learn the advanced roundhouse kick, also known as our number 10 kick. So if this sounds like something you would be interested in, stay tuned and I'll show you how. <laughs> for tuning in again today. Like I mentioned last time, we are going to do our advanced roundhouse kicks today for the right leg. So in my kickboxing gym, we call this a number 10 kick, um, and it's just the right roundhouse. So as we learned last time, we really just focused on our lower body and figuring out how to get the hips and knees in alignment to do a proper kick. Now for the advanced kicks, we're going to start working on the upper body and combine that with what we learned last week. So, just to demonstrate, as we learned last week, we were in our fighting stance with our arms up and we came over, kicked, and came back. All right? So now, let's start learning some of what we're gonna do with our upper body. As you may have noticed, when I came around to kick, my upper body leaned back. That is perfect. That's definitely something we wanna do. Try not to go all the way back like you're doing a limbo or something crazy, but just, you know, I'd say a good 45 degree angle would be great. And that's because as you're kicking, that's the perfect opportunity for someone to throw either a cross or, pardon me, a jab or a cross um, and whack you in the face. Because again, you're not really thinking about your face when you're in this kick. So that's why you want to lean back. The other thing you may notice that I'm doing is with my right arm. My right arm is actually going to come down in, in alignment with my upper body as I'm leaning back. So let's do that one more time in slow motion. So I'm going to kick up, over, and back. And do you see how my arm is in this nice line with my spinal column? So that's another thing we want to kind of keep in mind is this arm to come down and then straight. So the reason we want to do that, that this arm is going to be straight while we're leaning back, is so my shoulder can roll forward and protect the lower part of my face. I'll get in here a little bit closer. See how, now I'm out of the light. So I'll get down here where you guys can see me a little bit more. So say I'm leaning back. I'm rolling my shoulder forward. And do you see how the bottom of my face is instantly protected? This is where all the really sensitive parts of your face are. So if someone's going to punch you and knock you out, really hurt you or get you flustered and off balance, this is where they're gonna aim at. This part of your head, the skull is nice and thick and dense, and if they hit it, it's not gonna have that much of an effect. The sides, however, there's just no way to cover all the face when you're doing a kick, so something's gonna be exposed but really we would just want to try to cover as much of the face as possible. And the way we achieve that is again, as I'm kicking, my arm is coming down, my shoulders rolling forward, and I'm maintaining eye contact. So when I kick, I'm not looking off over here to the side, I'm still looking at my target, whether that be a stationary uh, kicking target, a person, or what have you. So, kick, and down and make sure it's covering the lower part of your face. The final pro tip that I will give to you all is when you're kicking your target, try not to be directly in front of them. So if I'm looking into the camera here where my body is, I don't want to be perfectly in front of the target if that's where I'm kicking. Instead, I want to be off to an angle a little bit and that's going to give me the greatest range of motion mobility and power with my shin. So. Really the best way to do it is take your target and just move like three inches over. Again, that's just for practicing. And then once you get the hang of it, it'll come naturally of when you're sparring with an opponent and you're gearing up for that kick, you'll just naturally kind of move over and then um, enact your kick. So again, baby steps, take one step at a time, just do one component and build off of each other. I'll just demonstrate that for you guys one more time with everything together, and then we'll call it a day. So, fighting stance, our head's leaning forward, we've got that nice curvature of our spinal column, hands up, we're in our good fighting position with our good footwork. 
I'm gonna come, again, lead with my hip bone, up, so, kick and down. Thank you so much for tuning in today, guys. Um, as always, if you liked what you saw, please like and subscribe down below. That would mean a lot to me. And as well as if you have any questions, leave those down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And I will see you next week where we talk about our number nine kicks, which is the left roundhouse kick. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.